the outcomes for white testers, we see that about 34% of whites with no criminal record. I think the most fucked up part about this data is, and I'm pretty confident, it's predicated on the paranoia of what others have done to us for centuries. What do I mean by that? Your average man, whether they're ethnicity group, doesn't matter. You know what they would like to be able to do? Pay their bills, take their partner out two to three times a month, go on vacation two, three times a year, and buy themselves something nice every two to three months. But the paranoia of what others have done and thinking there's this deep-seated anger or revenge that some of us are looking for that it prevents all of this still. It, it does this to this extent because that's exactly what it is. Like, you're telling me, and they doesn't really predicate or tell that. You're telling me somebody with the multiple degrees that I've had, no criminal background, has a least likely chance of getting a call back for an interview for somebody, a white man with a felony. 3% less likely. Now, I don't know how old this data is, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed much. But that is fucking insane. Like, she just said the qualifications are the same. I mean, I can imagine, let's say, like I have a master's, I can imagine like even with a master's, my, I won't reach whatever it was like 35%, I won't reach a 35%. At the most, I would say I reach a 20%. But I will say this to other black men, don't be disheartened by this. Don't be disappointed by it. Yeah, I get it. That really sucks. It really, it, it, it hits hard. I get it. But there's always a way. It doesn't have to be the illegal way, but there's always a way. You just gotta find the people who are willing to spread that knowledge or insight to you to find your way. And that's all I gotta say about that.